I'd like to thank everybody that took part in the vote for this video. 70% of you wanted to see the backpacking kitchen, so let's get straight into it. This isn't the complete kitchen set up, but this is the bare minimum that I'll take on one of my trips. I'll empty out the contents and then go through the details with you. It's just held together with an elastic band. And a lighter, a cleaning sponge, alcohol stove, some fuel, simmering for the stove, I have some kitchen paper, and last but not least, the pot stand and windshield. Everything that you see pictured here weighs in at 276 grams or 9.7 ounces. So that's made up of an Alp kit 650 milliliter Mai Tai mug with lid. That weighs in at 100 grams. I have 30 milliliters of bioethanol. Um, in a Nalgene bottle. Total weight of this is 44 grams. This little alcohol stove weighs in at only 9 grams. It's got a mesh and some, some kind of carbon fibre in there I think, um, which allows it to be spill proof. There's a simmering for the stove. It's a thin piece of foil that I rest the stove on. There's some kind of clipper lighter which weighs 26 grams. And then we have the storming cone, which I'll put together in a second. That weighs in at 36 grams or 1.25 ounces. So to put the cone together, these just interlink, locks into place. And the top section of the stove links in with these little slots. And this is custom made for the outkit mug, which nestles in there nice and snugly. I'll put 15 millilitres of alcohol into the stove, get it lit up, and then we'll get a cup of coffee made, and then we'll go through the rest of the backpacking kitchen. So this little bottle holds 30 millilitres. So half of it is 15 millilitres. That's near enough. have to be very careful with alcohol if you can't always see it and then place the cone over the top to block the wind I'm going to add half a litre of water in here and let that do its thing so 15 millilitres of alcohol has a burn time of about 12 minutes with this stove so that easily do half a litre of water, which is enough water for one of these dehydrated meals and a small coffee. Everything that you've seen so far weighs in at 276 grams. And when you factor in that one of these full canisters of gas weighs nearly 400 grams on its own, you're getting a complete system for less weight than that. Obviously one of these canisters does last a long time and this will only do two meals and two coffees. So what I often do is take a larger bottle of alcohol. This one's got about 120 millilitres in. That's enough to do me between eight and 10 meals and coffees if need be, for only an extra 144 grams. Alcohol stoves definitely aren't the fastest way to boil your water, but they are virtually silent and half a litre of water will boil in about eight to 10 minutes. I'd be really grateful if you'd hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell notification symbol and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. So the mug I'm using today is the folder cup. It weighs in at 44 grams. It holds just over half a litre. And as you've seen, it fits perfectly around the 650ml titanium mug. It looks like we've got a boil. So that now brings me on to the next item in my kitchen, 
which is the Live Venture Long Titanium Spoon. This weighs in at only 20 grams and it's perfect for those dehydrated meals for getting right to the bottom of the bag. Ooh, that's hot. So for the most part, this is all I need for my backpacking trips. I take a dehydrated meal, I can have a hot meal, and I can have a hot drink. So I don't really need any more than that. However, sometimes I want to eat a little bit more than a dehydrated meal. If I want to cook a pork steak or fry some mushrooms, I'm going to need a few more items to my camping kitchen setup. I'm not adding the Swiss Army knife to my camp kitchen setup, something that I always take in my backpack anyway. But I do need to prepare things, so I've got myself a little chopping board. So this is just a really thin sheet of chopping board plastic. Weighs virtually nothing. And this gives me a clean surface to prepare my food. Just roughly chopping up these mushrooms. Nothing special. And they're going to go into my Trangia frying pan. This little pan weighs in at only 116 grams and it's non-stick coating, it's absolutely brilliant. That's the mushroom. The stand I'm going to use for the frying pan is the Trangia Triangle. This little thing only weighs in at 66 grams and packs down really small. It easily fits together just by interlinking these little bends in the material. and it just clips together. Very lightweight, very sturdy. I'm going to use the same stove, and that's gonna fit inside. However, yeah, I'll put it on the little protective cover. Forgot to add some fuel. We're gonna add the other 15 milliliters, and light it up. Yep, that's going. The pot stand around the outside. That brings me on to the next camp kitchen item, which is my pot handle. So this little handle just fits onto any pan virtually, grips it really firmly. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the to the mushrooms. Let's get the pan onto the stove. I'm gonna make some room for the meat as well. While that starts to sizzle, I'll introduce you to the next item in the kit. It's a small spatula. This weighs in at 10 grams. Simply saw the end off and now it's nice and compact. I do sometimes bring this little kit in its place. It's like a knife and fork set. It's got a serrated edge along there. This acts as a spatula, so it's quite handy. Um, it's alright for flipping eggs and things. And then you've got a spoon and a fork there. I think that on its own weighs 13 grams and it's 23 grams for the pair. Get these mixed up a little bit. Coffee's cooled down now. While the pork and mushrooms are simmering away, I'll show you my last couple of bits of kit. I've got a titanium knife and fork. These are a gift and you can pick them up on Amazon, I think they're only about £10. But so far I've been really impressed with them. I forgot to get the weight of these on their own, so I'll pop it on the screen now. Dinner's coming on quite nicely. I think this is the last item of the camp kitchen. It's a Life Venture titanium plate. This has seen plenty of action. It weighs in at 61 grams or 2.1 ounces. So this is everything laid out so you can see it. So apart from the Swiss Army knife and this extra bottle of fuel, so everything here that you see weighs in at 660 grams or 23.25 ounces, which I don't think is too bad at all considering all the luxury items that I've got out here in front of me. Looks like somebody wants to share with me. So another handy little thing about this system is the, the windshield for that Mai Tai pot can also be wrapped around the pan and that helps keep the heat into the cooking area. It's about done to my liking. And quickly get it dished up onto the plate.
I could just eat it straight from this pan. However, I don't want to damage the non-stick surface with titanium cutlery. If I was using plastic, then it wouldn't be so bad. But for the sake of 60 grams or whatever it is, I'm going to bring this plate every time. Really tasty. I always make sure that pork's cooked thoroughly through. I'll just leave the stove to burn out by itself. Last mouthful. Save washing up for later. I do bring one of these little pads to help with washing up. And occasionally I bring one of these small bottles um, put a little bit of washing up liquid in there if I've got something that's really greasy. Now I do appreciate there's going to be some people out there that say that this isn't an ultra light setup and I agree there are things like pot handles, extra plates, oil, whatever it might be you don't need to bring all of these things all of the time but these are things that I like to bring and for under 700 grams I don't think it's bad at all. I won't waste your time and make you watch me pack everything away so instead I'll say thanks again for watching, I really hope you enjoyed seeing my camping slash backpacking kitchen set up. I'd really appreciate any comments uh, below, um, I'd like to know your thoughts on the video and the kit that I've used today. I'd also be really interested to hear if there's any items in this setup that you would swap or if there's anything else that you would like to add to the setup. So that's it for this one uh, and I'll see you in another video.